Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of Why to Mama Tambien. To celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month all month long, I am bringing you reviews starring, directed, written by, or featuring subjects of Latinx origin. And today we are discussing the Mexican film Why to Mama Tambien from acclaimed Mexican director. Alfonso Cuaron. Why to Mama Tambien follows Julio and Tenoch as they go on a cross-country adventure with an older woman for a summer of carefree connection. So this film from Cuaron was debuted in 2002 and actually garnered an Oscar nomination for Best Original Screenplay, though it missed out on Best Foreign Language Film. What kind of sense does that make? But not only did Quran direct this film, he also wrote the film, garnering him that Oscar nomination, with his brother, Carlos Quran. In addition, he also worked with Emmanuel Lubezki, who is also from Mexico City himself, meaning all of the major behind-the-scenes talent was of Mexican descent. When we get in front of the camera, we have Julio, who was played by Gael Garcia Bernal from Mexico. We have Tinoche, who was played by Diego Luna, also from Mexico. And we have Luisa, played by Maribel Verdu from Spain. And her character is also from Spain. Now, all of these years later, Quran has become a staple, a major name in cinema. Consistently, his films are in contention to either win or be nominated for Best Picture in all of the major awards at the Oscars. His most recent attempt was a return to a Spanish-language film set in Mexico with Roma. However, Why to Mama Tambien remains my favorite film from Alfonso Cuaron. So, let's go ahead and talk about the positives of why I love this film so much. On the surface, this is a raunchy, sex-driven, kind of horny, teenage adventure, if you will. But the script does so much more than that as we're moving throughout. For starters, it's a really fascinating coming-of-age story, a story of growth, not only for the two younger boys, as it initially seems to be, but also for Louisa, our older woman, as she breaks free of this marriage holding her back to actually live. And then, of course, when we get that revelation at the end of the film, it makes it all that much more satisfying while also devastating. But watching as these boys develop throughout the film is a truly fascinating character study. Hearing how they speak at the beginning of the film and how wild they are, certainly. And they maintain that spirit and sense of self as they move throughout. But you see development and growth over the course of just a single trip. And then it all leads up to this wonderful blend of sexuality that I really think is handled beautifully. Which is purely devastating once we get to the conclusion of this film. But I'm so glad that we went there. We were free. This film is a full sexual exploration and it's beautiful in how free it is, how open that lens is. And Louisa herself is also a wonderfully feminist character and not in the ways that you often think. We see as she comes into her own, takes control of her own sexuality and takes control of this trip, <laughs> but really finds herself and gains control of herself. And that is a beautiful adventure to go on. The film also does a wonderful job of striking up class discussions, not only at the beginning when it's apparent and obvious, but even as we move throughout, there are great bits of dialogue with these two friends who merge together from different worlds. The places we visit as we go through this adventure, there is some straightforward exposition that further exploits this through gentrification. But it's just so well handled and balanced to the point where it's never the forefront. It's never right in your face, but it's always there and present. Also, the political systems and the unrest throughout Mexico. Once again, we just kind of touch upon it as we move throughout. Here and there, we'll get scenes where it's brought to the forefront. 
But again, it never pulls focus from the story of our main trio. It just adds that texture that layers this film in realism. Emmanuel Lubetsky is an amazing cinematographer and he's done an amazing job on pretty much every single Quran film he has worked on. Oh, but the cinematography is absolutely stunning. This film is so beautifully shot. Everything about the look of this film is beautiful. The music in this film is absolutely stunning. And I love what Quran does with the sound design, how we go from these big rambunctious bursts of sound and he literally cuts out, cuts to silence to deliver the narration. I think it is such a genius way of ripping the viewer back in, just in case your mind decided to stray. And I've said it a couple of times throughout this film, as fun and funny as this movie is, as joyous as it can be, as it deals with growing up and finding yourself both sexually and as a person, that ending is devastating. It's such an impactful, hard-hitting end to this film that you don't really anticipate coming. It's really hard to foreshadow as you're going throughout. This is such a vibrant, sexually free film. I just sat there staring at the screen the first time I saw this. And every time I watch this film again, it leaves me in that starstruck kind of state. So then, what doesn't work so well when it comes to Ay Tu Mama Tambien? Well, I will say that sometimes the boys can be just a bit much, particularly at the beginning of this film. It's a little bit like, oh my gosh, okay, yes, teen boys are a hot mess. <laughs> and also, just maybe for my own personal preference with how this story develops, I wish we had gotten just a bit more of that exploration of sexuality. That moment, that kiss, that lingering questioning all serves the plot so well. But again, for my own personal preference, I think I would have liked to see them go another step or be free and learn from Louisa in that respect. You wouldn't get that same impactful ending, <laughs> but I think that would have been another interesting way to at least open the doors. But as it is, I think this movie is darn near perfect. Alfonso Cuaron really crafted a masterpiece with this film. One of the best coming of age stories, one of the best road trip stories ever put to film. I absolutely love Why to Mama Tambien. Now, it's not for the faint of heart if you are super prude about nudity and sex and drugs in your films, then this might not be the one for you. But if you can deal with that, it is certainly worth the ride. So, if you've never checked out Why to Mama Tambien, definitely give it a watch. So that was my review of Why to Mama Tambien. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on my latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. What do you think of this Quran classic? And what is your favorite Alfonso Quran film? Let me know either in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your continued support. Mwah! Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!